Hi guys, for this tutorial, you will need a Google account and a copy of Android Studio. With your account, log in to console.developers.google.com. To create a project, click on the drop down arrow, give your project a name, and then click create. I named my project Map Tutorial. In the bottom left corner, you should see a tools message indicating that your project is being created. Click on the Google Maps API and click Enable. At this point, the API is enabled, but you cannot use it yet until you create some credentials. So click on Create Credentials. Now we want an API key, so we need to click on API key. Since this API key is going to be working with an Android app, click on Android apps. Okay, the next thing that you will need to do is to copy and paste your um, your package name and you'll find that inside of your Android manifest file To get your SHA-1 fingerprint just copy and paste the command that I have in the description and paste that in your terminal and that should and hit enter and that shall give you your SHA-1 fingerprint and then you copy the fingerprint from the terminal and paste the code into the box after you paste the code in the box just hit create and you shall see that your API key has been created In your manifest, add the following element as a child of the application element, and you can add it just before the closing application tag. You need to enclose Android name and Android value in a metadata tag. The value is the API key that you just created. Next, we need to add some dependencies to the app.gradle file. com.google.android.jms colon play-services colon 8.3.0. Then we sync the Gradle. Let's go into the manifest and add as a child of the manifest uses feature GLES version along with the version number and set Android required as true. Now this is used to render the map. This will also prevent the Google Play Store from displaying your map on devices that don't support OpenGLES version 2. Next, let's give our app some permissions. Add these permissions as children of the manifest. We will, need access, we will need access course location, access find location, and write external storage. Our map is going to be placed in a frame layout. To this frame layout, we will add a map view with the layout width and layout height set to match parent. We will set the ID as map. Since we placed our map in first fragment, we will place the code for our map in first fragment.java. The first thing that we will need to do is implement on map ready callback and implement the method on map ready. 
Next, we need to add some member variables, mGoogleMap, mMapView, and mView. In the onCreate method, set mView equal to inflator.inflate, r.layout.first underscore fragment, container false, and return mView. Next, hit Ctrl O and select on view created. In this method, we are going to set map view equal to map view and view dot find view by ID map. Then we're going to create an if statement. If m map view is not equal to null, meaning if it exists, we are going to execute the following code. In the onMapReady method, we are going to create our map using the following code. First, we need to initialize the map. Then we need to set the map type. Now, if you want to change the map type, just read the Google Map API documentation. We're going to set our map type to normal. I chose the Statue of Liberty, so I had to do a Google search for the coordinates. The first thing we do is add a map marker and set position, title, and maybe add a little snippet. We then set the initial camera position. I chose to set up the camera on the Statue of Liberty so that we would use one set of coordinates. I changed the zoom, the bearing, and tilt, and that is basically it. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, hit like, and if you would like to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching.